Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jason from the Office of Academic Technology at Spring Arbor University. I'm here to show you uh, through a couple of different uh, series of tutorials process that we go through in a media capture scenario in higher ed. So this would be a lecture capture or uh, speeches, anything that we would do to record video in a classroom and then submit it to iTunes U. So we'll take you through the equipment that we use. The next tutorial will kind of show you a little bit about how we set the camera up. And then the third one uh, and possibly fourth will show you a couple of different workflows that we use to submit uh, rich media content into iTunes U. But for this video tutorial, we're just going to show you a lot of uh, people have asked either on our website or have contacted us, what exactly do you use? Now, you all know if you're watching this that uh, there's no uh, one right way uh, to do this. We're just going to show you what we do and would love to get your feedback. So feel free uh, to post comments and suggestions on how we can be doing it better or maybe tools that you're using. So our office is called the Office of Academic Technology. And so the initials are OAT, Office of Academic Technology. So we play around with that a little in the geeky way. And so when we put these uh, bags together, we decided to call them oat bags. So, yeah. So faculty are kind of catching on to it too. So we want to show you kind of the inventory of our oat bags. And then we'll also post on our website a bullet list of all of the different items that you see here too. So, so let me show you what we have in the bag. Uh, first of all, uh, we just uh, found cheap cheap bag from Walmart, 15 bucks, but it's a good heavy duty uh, thick bag. And then we kind of put uh, different things in different containers so that we can keep things organized. So inside the bag we have our camera bag. And then also inside we have a tripod. It's a very simple tripod, uh, $50 Dynex tripod. Because we don't do a lot of moving and panning with the tripods, it's mostly standing in the back of a classroom and doing a static shot. We don't really need to go the Bogan and Manfrotto route, so we can use an inexpensive tripod. So tripod is in the bag, camera's in the bag, and then we also have an extra bag that we use to put all of our ancillary cords. So what we have is a 25-foot heavy-duty extension cord, and that usually gets us power from a side of a classroom or older classrooms that may not have readily accessible electricity. So a heavy-duty 25-footer uh, usually works great with power strip, which allows us to get more uh, access to electricity for the setup, which we'll show you in the next tutorial. Just a very inexpensive, you know, $3 Walmart power strip. And then we also have a 25-foot network cord. So we have that, probably could go 50 on this for different scenarios when we're using podcast capture to directly upload video to iTunes U uh, through the camera. So those three things are in our extra cord bag that we have. So tripod, extra cords, and then we also have the camera bag. So inside the camera bag, this is the camera that we've chosen to use. It is the Canon ZR800. We had a few requirements for a camera, but the number one priority was that we had to have an external mic in. Not an AV in, but an external mic in to play out the scenario of having a wireless microphone connected uh, to from a speaker in the front of the classroom and the audio going into the camera. We wanted to have a hard drive camera, but those were too expensive, so we decided to go Mini DV, Canon ZR800, and the reason why is because for about 150 bucks, it has an AV in, external mic, and a DV popping off this boot. You can see all three. So for a very inexpensive cost, we have a small Mini DV camcorder that had an external mic in. These work great, and especially when you have student workers doing uh, lecture captures and uh, media captures, uh, they're not $5,000 cameras, so if they break, you can replace them. So Canon ZR800. We also did purchase an extra 8-hour battery. Uh, so we have two batteries, just in case we need extra recording time and we're not uh, readily accessible to an external power supply. So Canon ZR800. Then in the bag, we also have the power supply for it, a tape, be a way to connect it to our tripod. In the front here, 
I like to keep this just because I like to keep things organized. The connector cord that goes from our, our wireless uh, Audio-Technica transmitter receiver that plugs XLR into the mini and I'll show you in the next video tutorial how that connects and then the actual microphone that connects to the to, to, to the transmitter for the wireless mic so I pop these in the front here just to keep them protected one more layer of protection so this is the camera bag so camera your plug extra battery and the accessories that go with the wireless mic we're almost done so let me bring the bag back and I'll show you on the one side headphones for a monitor. We just grabbed some $20 Sony headphones. We didn't like to do the earbuds just because multiple people use them. So that goes in this side. And then on this side is our wireless microphone setup. Now these are really nice um, and they've gotten a lot smaller in price and they've also gotten a lot smaller in size. It's a few years old but this is an Audio-Technica wireless microphone uh, receiver and so we're able to have uh, a mon external monitor so we can make sure that the audio is coming in. We clip this to the camera and we'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial and we'll also give you the uh, spec out numbers for this in case you want to go ahead and buy this. So here's the uh, receiver for the signal. Put this in the side and then in the home stretch right here in the front is the wireless uh, microphone. So we'd plug the microphone right here on top. It's the uh, Audio-Technica and switch it on and it takes 9 volt battery. So we always have extra batteries uh, for the unit to make sure that batteries don't run out when the speaker is in the middle of a lecture. So that is the basic setup of what we have for our what we call oat bags. So then in the next uh, video tutorial we'll show you how we configure the entire setup. So how do we put it all together, set it all up, connect the dots so that we use it in a real lecture capture setting. If you have any questions or if you want to provide feedback we'd love for you to do that. You can go to arbor.edu forward slash OAT or academictechnology.org and tell us what you think.